Hi, I want to talk to you about my media player. This is the Mica Spec G2. So what's neat about this, this will play almost every video file available. I mean, I haven't found a video file that this won't play. And it's just a little old tiny thing, but it's really amazing what it'll do. So you can see here, it's got a uh, HDMI port in the back, and that just plugs right into your TV or your uh, receiver, whatever it is you're watching. If you don't have HDMI, you have an audio-visual output. There's like a breakout cable, like an eighth-inch plug that goes in there. Then you have your uh, uh, RCA cables that come out that you can plug into the old style of TV. And then on the front, we have uh, USB. You can plug in a uh, hard drive or you can plug in a flash drive. And the specification said you can put up to a 32 gigabyte card in there. So I've been using this thing for a while. And I use a program called uh, Handbrake to convert uh, my DVDs to an MP4. I suppose you could convert them to any format you, you'd like. But it seems like MP4 is uh, the most common. The specification said that this will except up to a two terabyte hard drive. Well, that's kind of iffy, because I have read that some people have had trouble getting some hard drives to work with this. It sounds like a one terabyte hard drive will work pretty good with this. So after doing some research, it seemed like the best hard drive for me to use, so I got this, this Toshiba two terabyte portable drive. It works with some caveat. It did work for a while when I plugged it right into the the USB. As I've started filling up the drive with more and more files, it started having trouble working with the mica. I was just wondering if there just wasn't enough power supplied to the hard drive from the mica. So what I had to do, and I highly suggest doing that, is getting a powered USB hub. A USB hub that has its own power supply that you can uh, charge things with as well as uh, have data throughput going on here. When I used the hub, luckily, the mica had no trouble recognizing the hub. Then I'm able to hook up the Toshiba to the hub, and it works perfectly. So what's cool is not only can I use the Toshiba 2 terabyte hard drive, I have an older Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive that this recognizes just fine also. So I can put that hard drive in there as well. So I've had no trouble running multiple drives in here. I've had a couple hard drives as well as a couple flash drives in here. All I have to do is find the right drive letter on the mica and play whatever files I want off of here. So all in all, I've been really, really happy with this thing. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this video is helpful to you. Until next time, I'll catch you later.